Alright, hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today we've got the first build video for Title Update 6. And so this build is, I wouldn't say exactly meta, because it's not exactly what everyone's using, but it's kind of a spin on the meta of the Sadist and Bleed meta that is somewhat going on. But it's not, it's not a terrible meta, I must say. So, the philosophy behind this build basically is to tag people with Bleed, which in turn gives you huge damage bonuses and it gives you increased healing. Um, so to start with my weapons, my FAMAS, I crafted this one. The FAMAS is pretty much the best AR besides the Eagle Bear. So if you have the blueprint, try and craft yourself a good one. It is definitely worth it, both in its recoil pattern and its damage capability. So, mine's doing 18.8k damage. Uh, that's not the PvP value. The PvP weapon damage is 12,942 for the FAMAS. So... It's doing that, and then I have Sadist on there, which I modified as extra, and this holster talent, I wasn't even specifically trying to get it, but once I got it, I thought it is actually very helpful. Um, it's called Stop, Drop, and Roll, and while equipped, rolling removes burn, bleed, and poison status effects. can occur once every minute. So if you get bled in conflict or PvP, you just roll, and it's gone, and you can do that once every minute, and that's very useful against all the Stinger Hives and Seeker Mines you're going to be going up against. It is very useful. And then uh, you can get Allegro instead of Extra. That's also a good option. I just think since the RPM is already at 900, Extras is very nice to get that nice 60 mag. And then Sadist obviously is a must for this build to work, and I will show you why in just a second. And then I have the Nemesis as my secondary because I love sniping. Nemesis is definitely the best sniper in the game, and so that's pretty self-explanatory. And then my pistol, I made sure to have Protected Reload on there because uh, I don't have it on the FOMAS, and Protected Reload is just a nice perk to have. So moving on, I have a Fenris Mask for the 10% AR damage. And ideally, I would like to have Empowered on here, because you can see on the left that my uh, Chem Launcher skill power is only at 2210, which means I'm not getting the full amount of heal that I possibly could, and having Empowered on this mask would definitely help with that. And I would also change one other thing on this mask, but I will get into that in just a little bit. So then the chest piece, um, I need a lot of reds on this build to unlock spark on the backpack, and so this chest piece helps with that by having the headshot damage, and also has a red mod slot. Um, and it means that when I have a backpack that's not perfectly rolled how I want it, it does leave me a little squishy since the only armor-related thing I have on here is hardened for the talent. Um, you can see my armor's at 317.5. So this is the chest piece that I would want, but when it's paired with a backpack that's not 100% perfect, then it leaves me a little squishy. So I have skill power, uh, headshot damage, 15% weapon damage, which is really nice. And then the two mod slots, which I have a blue that's giving me percent armor, and then of course a, an AR damage mod. So then I have a Gila holster, which Gila holsters are my favorite piece of gear in the game with the two uh, red mod slots. Then you can get health and skill power usually, but in this case I have the red because I need the extra reds for spark. So I have crit chance, 33,000 health, which is quite a bit. And then I have two AR damage uh, red mods there. So then for the backpack, I have a Providence backpack. I'm getting the three piece of Providence now, um, which give, grants the skill power, health, and weapon damage. All those are useful to this build. So it has weapon damage, total armor, and armor, which this has the right rolls, but I wish that that armor value, that flat armor value was around like 20,000 because then my armor with all the extra percent bonuses would go up probably closer to 340, 350k. So that is the one thing that's kind of holding me back on here, I must say. So then I have Spark, which if you don't know, it's new with Title Update 6, a new talent. It says, damaging enemies with skills or explosives grant 10% weapon damage for 15 seconds. And then I also have Insulated, uh, which that could be vital, could be something else that's really up to you what you want there. And then I have the one red uh, AR damage mod. So the one difference I would make in these few pieces is that there's the other type of Providence backpack, the 48H I think it's called, and that comes with a yellow mod slot. So ideally I would like to have this same rolled backpack just in a 48H model because then I would be able to get more skill power and I would still have the Providence bonus. Uh, and then the mask, I could put a red instead of the skill haste here, and that would mean I could still unlock spark, because I would have one red on the backpack now, I would lose one red there, but I would gain one red on the mask, if that all makes sense. And you would end up getting the same bonuses plus more skill power and heal for your chem launcher, which is pretty crucial. So then we move on to the uh, BTSU gloves, where I have 
uh, well, the stats don't matter because exotics drop um, fully fully modded out. So it has two yellow mod slots. I just have Kim Launcher skill power in there. One has Hive skill power as well, but the Hive doesn't matter as much. And then I have another uh, blue mod, which gives me percent armor and flat armor. And then Providence Knee Pads, where I have 11.5 total armor and Surge. This is pretty much, I would say, this is the one piece that's like perfectly rolled. I wouldn't really change anything here. Um, and then I have one final AR damage mod there. Uh, so then for my heal, it is only doing 60,000 right now for PvP. This could, if I had everything rolled exactly how I would want it and everything was perfect, it would be at 75k for PvP armor repair. Um, right now, when my BTSUs get infused, that heal goes up to 75. So it's really not the full potential that's out right now. If I had it at 75k base, um, then when it got infused in PvP, my heal would be nearly at 100,000, which would be quite strong. Um, so if you can get it all lined up right, you will have some very nice heals. And then my Hive, uh, the mods on this don't really matter. You can see I don't even have those unlocked right now. Just what matters is that you throw this down and it applies the bleed to someone, which is all you need for the rest of your build to start getting kicked off because that applies the bleed and then your gun has Sadist, which deals 30% weapon damage to bleeding enemies. And so that combined with Spark combined with the BTSU gloves just gives you a ton of bonuses because as soon as you hit someone with that bleed you're all of a sudden getting these three different talents that are giving you increased healing and damage and it makes you very very powerful and then lastly I am using the technician specialization because that's giving you the extra 50% skill power when you have it all leveled up and you can get a extra 10% skill healing node if you opt for that instead of the skill damage which I would definitely recommend for this build. All right, well, I will roll more footage now. I hope that this build gave you guys some inspiration, and I think this is a pretty entry-level uh, Title Update 6 build, so as long as you have the BTSU gloves, you shouldn't have too much trouble putting it together. Um, and if you don't have those gloves, you can get them from Camp White Oak, the mission. Any difficulty, just farm that. The final boss has a chance to drop them. If this helped you guys out in any way, it would be greatly appreciated if you left a like, um, and be sure to leave any questions you have about the build down below. And until the next one, guys, Rogue Gold, out. <laughs>